Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this crochet ski mask. Now I originally saw a ski mask that's been crocheted on TikTok, but I have not seen a tutorial for one, nor on TikTok, nor on YouTube. So I thought, why not show you how I made mine? So here on the screen, I have all the materials that I used listed. And without any further ado, let's get into the video so to begin you're going to make a slip knot like this and now we're going to chain four and now once you've chained four we're going to be going into the first chain that we made so you're going to insert your hook, make sure that you have both loops on your hook. So now you should have three in total. And now you're going to take your yarn and pull it through the first two. And then the last one, creating a slip stitch. So now if you pull it apart, you should see we kind of have like a donut shape. So there's a hole in the middle. And that's where we're going to be placing our eight half double crochets. So wrap the yarn around your hook insert it into that hole pull through and pull through three and that's how you do a half double crochet so now you're going to do seven more half double crochets into that same space And so here I am doing my last half double crochet. And now you're going to pull on that string at the back and it should tighten up the middle, making that hole disappear. And now we're going to be half double crocheting into the top of that stitch right there. So in here we're going to be placing two half double crochets. And all the way along in each stitch we'll be placing two half double crochets. So pull through all three and now place one more into that same space. And now I'm just grabbing my stitch marker, which I would recommend, especially if you're a beginner, because it just makes life a lot easier so that you know where your starting point was. And now you're just going to be placing two half double crochets in each stitch. Here I've finished row two and now we're going to be moving on to row three. So here I'm just removing my stitch marker and right into that stitch, we're going to be placing one half double crochet. So for row three, we're going to be doing one half double crochet and then an increase, one half double crochet and an increase. So now I'm just placing back my stitch marker into that same stitch to mark the beginning. And then in the next stitch, we're going to be placing an increase, which is two half double crochets in one stitch. And you're just going to repeat this all the way along up until you reach the stitch marker. So two in that one stitch, one in the next one. So here I've completed row three and now we're moving on to row four. So you're going to be placing two half double crochets and then one increase. So here I'm placing one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm just removing my stitch marker and placing it back in. If it's easier, you don't even need to clip it in. It should stay in place. And now we're going to place one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then two half double crochets in the next stitch for our increase. So two half double crochets and then one increase. And repeat this for the entire row of row four. And I'll meet you back once I get to the stitch marker. 
So now for row five, we're going to be placing three half double crochets and then one increase. So one, two, and three. And now we're going to be doing one increase in the next stitch. So two half double crochets in one. And then again, you're going to repeat this until the end of the row. So now we're on row six. And here we're going to be placing four half double crochets and then one increase. So here I'm placing my first half double crochet. And you don't even really need to replace your stitch marker every row maybe like a couple of rows because you can still see the mark but that's completely up to you so my second one third fourth and then in the next one we're going to be placing an increase and you're just going to repeat this all the way around so four more half double crochets and then an increase and i'll meet you back at the stitch marker okay so now i'm going to be doing a bit of explaining so in the previous clip we were on row six so we did four half double crochets and one increase as you can see from row seven which is the next row if you're following along from row seven to row ten it is essentially the same thing, just as you can see, the number of half double crochets increases. So all you need to do is you just need to increase the amount of times you do half double crochets. So for example, for row seven, you're gonna do five. For row eight, you're gonna do six and one increase, of course. And then for row 11, what I did was I just half double crocheted normally so there's not going to be any increases you're just going to normally half double crochet into the back loops not both you're not going to have two loops on your hook you're only going to have the back loop and then for row 12 to 20 you are just going to do normal half double crochets into each stitch not the back loops but normal half double crochets i would also like to give credit where credit is due so for the top part of the ski mask i'm using emma p's bucket hat pattern so this portion that i'm showing on the screen i used emma's pattern for so i'll have the video linked in the description because it's only right but yeah, so if at any point you do find yourself confused at this part, definitely do go watch her video. She explains it very well. And now let's move on to making the eye holes for the ski mask. So now I'm going to be explaining what I did. So here I've done everything that I mentioned up until row 20. And then from right there, that stitch marker, I counted 34 stitches to the right and then I placed a stitch marker there and then in between we have 22 stitches so in the middle of that which is the 11th stitch I placed a stitch marker and then to the left I counted 34 again and placed another stitch marker so as you can see the middle actually kind of aligns to the back see both stitch markers are together and that's it really this is just one of those crochet projects that you do need to try on as you go along just to make sure that it fits you properly because not everyone has the same size head so that is all that i've done so far hopefully you were able to follow me along and now i'm going to show you how i make the eye holes so you're just going to grab your hook insert it into the loop and you're going to completely normal half double crochet all the way along up until that first stitch marker so 
so I'm just removing my stitch marker and replacing it and now just normal half double crochet all the way up until you reach the stitch marker now that we've reached the stitch marker you're just going to be placing a normal half double crochet right into that stitch where the stitch marker is and you can just remove that now and now you're going to chain 10 so 1, 2 and so forth Now, once you've done your chain of 10, you're going to go into the stitch right before the stitch marker. And here is where I feel like I kind of made a mistake. So here I slip stitched instead of doing a half double crochet, which I feel like would have been better. So if you're following along, I would recommend that you do a half double crochet, but it didn't look bad in the end. So I'm not complaining too much. Here I just got back from trying it on, so this is the point where I'd recommend you try it on to see if it fits your face, because that's really important. So now I just removed the stitch marker and I'm doing a normal half double crochet into the next stitch. And now you're going to chain 10. Now once you've changed your 10, you're going to go into the stitch before the stitch marker and here I slip stitched but again I feel like you should half double crochet instead. I don't know what I was doing here but to be fair this was my first attempt and now you're just going to do normal half double crochets all the way around to the back where you meet the stitch marker. And now you're just going to be doing normal half double crochets all the way along up until you reach your chain of 10. Even once we get there, we're still just going to be doing normal half double crochets, but I just want to demonstrate. So here I just did a normal half double crochet and I am inserting my stitch marker. So yeah, just keep doing normal half double crochets until you reach your chain of 10 and I'll meet you back. Once you've reached your chain of 10, after doing half double crochets all the way along, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and insert your hook into that first chain of the chain 10. Now here I was only able to get one loop onto my hook, but that's perfectly fine. It didn't really change the appearance, so it doesn't matter. And now you're just going to half double crochet all the way along, even through each chain of the chain 10. So here I'm at my last half double crochet until the middle, pull through and now you are just going to be doing normal half double crochets into the middle. So wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through and there you go. And you just continue normally all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing another little walkthrough with you. So this is the last row that we did together and from there I did five rows. So in total you should have six rows and now from the back stitch marker, which is the blue one for me, you're going to count 35 stitches and as you're doing it place a stitch marker and then do normal half double crochets up until you reach the stitch marker and then chain 12. So the gap in the middle should be 12 right there as you can see. And now I'm just going to be showing you how I continue that to join it. So insert your hook and you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and we're going to be doing a half double crochet into the stitch right before the stitch marker. So that is going to be the 12th stitch. So just going to do a half double crochet, pull through all three, kind of struggled a bit here to redo it that's okay and 
and then you can just remove your stitch marker and do a completely normal row of half double crochets. So you're going to complete that row by just doing half double crochets. So this is the completed ski mask. This was the last row that we did together and from then on I did 14 rows downwards but at the back, so when you flip over the ski mask, it's 15 rows if you get what I mean because we're kind of going in like a circular shape and right here I just slip stitch at the bottom and you're just going to tuck away that extra string right there and that's it really. Just getting a close up, yeah. So if you made this, please let me know, send me a picture on Instagram, but yeah, I had so much fun making this. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please let me know what other videos you'd like to see on my channel, and I hope to see you next time, bye!